Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Lurik and today we're drawing Incineroar from sketch to finish to line art to shade it to everything, color shaded, yes, that's the last steps. Um, yeah, I thought drawing Incineroar was a good idea because one, I didn't really feel like drawing something else, so I started a new uh, thing, and two, Incinera is, I guess, kind of a fan favorite, like, I guess he's only, like, he's not that recent of a Pokemon, really, but, well, he's kind of recent, he's like, I mean, I guess he's like a gen old, basically, yes, um, but still, he seems to be quite the fan favorite already, I would say, I don't know, I guess it's kind of because he's furry bait, <laughs> I would say, but I really don't mind that, I let myself get furry baited all the time, or like, I... Well, I wish I was all the time, I don't know, dude. Um, but I have no problem with it, I wanna say that. <laughs> um, especially if it looks like Incinero did. But, basically, yes, that might be a reason. But also, I guess he's in uh, Smash. I don't know quite what came first, him being like pretty popular, or him being in Smash and thus being popular. I don't know. In any case, and Smash actually looks the best out of like any edition of him, I guess. I wish he would look as good in Pokemon as he looks with does in Smash. Not gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, I guess Pokemon is cursed to be like I don't know, like they do ha get by the the games get bought anyway, it feels like, so they don't put that much effort in it, it feels like. And Smash seems like a lot like there's a lot more genuine passion in it. The problem with Smash is more like that you can't really do a lot of competitive because the online is bad, I don't know. But anyway, not really the topic right now. For Incinero, for this picture, I first wanted him to like look kind of symmetrical. I wanted to have kind of him like paws down like under the pecs I guess and then like kind of yeah symmetrical both arms flexing. I decided kind of against that and decided for this more like cocky like pre or after gym selfie in the mirror. Him flexing his biceps, his whole arm I guess. Um, I don't want to really get into the questioning of whatever canon this is I guess. Like usually you wouldn't like expect uh, an instant or holding a phone right like especially like i guess the trainers do have phones you have like a rotom phone and the most recent gen but that's also like a pokemon itself right i don't know if it's just like if those are like really smart uh, like techno technological advancements that you have like a flying phone that kind of behaves interestingly on its own or something but you can also use it as a phone or if it's actually like rotoms being used as phones and sold i have no clue what that what's up with that but it, it, it's even more can of worms when a freaking pokemon can use those phones so that's not question that i that's why i also didn't make it a rotom phone it's just a standard freaking phone um i decided for a yellow phone case as well i feel like that kind of matches him as well i try to be have it a bit of a different tone than his eyes because i feel like if they're the same tone it would color wise fit a bit more together but it would also look it is also a bit weird if you would get like a phone that ex at the exact tone of your eyes i suppose <laughs> but yeah generally Weirdance avoided by making a, a normal phone. Weirdance to avoid it. It's a little bit of a more, um, yeah, mustard color, I guess, than his eyes. I don't know what to call this color, but yeah. Shading went pretty smooth. The whole thing went pretty smooth. The only thing, really, the hands is a little bit of a struggle, or has been a bit of a struggle. Um, but yeah, generally, it's been quite fine. Especially shading then was fun. It's a little bit awkward always with different fur colors. If you have multiple like fur colors and patterns on your Sona, or I guess on like characters in general, like this one, this isn't really someone's Sona. I mean, maybe, but like, you get what I mean. But yeah, that's always a little bit of a tricky thing. But it was generally all right. Uh, I made gave like a little bit of a gradient down at the fire, making it seem like it's glowing a bit more. But generally, I'm like, let it be quite subtle, not adding like any 
um, gradient shading, just having the simple self shade like you're used to. I personally quite like this one. I enjoyed making this and I hope you both liked and enjoyed this video as well because this is the end. Um, I would greatly appreciate if you would boop that like and subscribe button and other than that. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye. See you in the next one.